the man who wouldn't forgive. One day, Peter asked, Master, how many times should I forgive someone who keeps wronging me? Religious people agreed that it was fair to forgive a person three times, but Peter generously suggested, how about seven times? Jesus smiled and shook his head. No, Peter, he said, 70 times seven is nearer the mark. Listen to this story. There was once a king who decided to check the accounts of his officials to see how much money they owed him. He had scarcely begun when one of them was ushered into his room. This man owes you a huge sum, the king was told. The king consulted his books and found that indeed the servant owed him millions, enough for a king's ransom. Sell him and his wife and his children as slaves, the king ordered. But the official fell on his knees and sobbed out, Please have mercy on me. If only you will be patient, I will pay it back. The king knew very well that he would never be able to pay back such a huge sum, but he felt sorry for him. Get up. I'm going to write off your whole debt. You don't need to pay me any of the money. The delighted servant jumped his feet and bowed himself out of the king's presence. No sooner was he outside than he bumped into a fellow servant. Here, stop. You owe me some money. His victim nodded miserably. Only a little bit of money. Give me time to pay you back. Give me time to pay you back. But the other man caught him by the throat, half throttling him. Pay me back her once or you'll go to prison. He threatened. Then he kicked the man out of the palace and threw him into prison. The rest of the king's officials were horrified. They told the king the whole story. The king was very angry. He sent for the first official. You are a wicked, hard-hearted man. Servant, I forgave you a huge debt, yet you you have refused to have mercy on, a, on someone who owes you such a tiny sum. Because of that, you will go to prison yourself and until you pay back everything you owe to me. Remember, Jesus said, as he finished his story, God will not forgive you unless you forgive one another from the bottom of your hearts.